Happy New Year and welcome to the January Just Junk Journal Challenge number two. This is January the challenge for 2020. We're going to make a journal just out of junk. Stay tuned for the details. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am here to wish you a Happy New Year and to introduce you to the Just Junk Journal Challenge for 2020. So this is our January challenge. It is a challenge where we are going to use junk, things that other people would donate, throw away, recycle, um, but get rid of. And we're going to take those things and use them to make a journal. So there are some rules, there are some guidelines, and so let's get into those. Um, also, if you are new to my challenge, if you are new to my channel, I would like to welcome you. I do a crafty video, usually journaling, junk journaling, paper crafting, sometimes home decor, other crafts, um, shopping hauls, and more. I also sponsor a junk journal challenge each month. And you can find out about all of that right here. If that sounds like something you like, stick around. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And let's jump in. So this month we're making a journal with just junk. And the way that we're going to do that and make it beautiful is we are going to use our tools. So you may use a sewing machine. You may use an iron. You may use any glue or tape regular like um regular tape we're not talking washi tape today so regular glue glues fabric tack um your favorite glue and your favorite tape but not washi tape okay you may use one cutter i'm going to be using my recollections cutter this cuts really heavy duty things it um it also scores okay so one cutter you can use two pairs of scissors this time so I'm gonna be using these postal scissors so if you have <laughs> the decorative edge scissors or your children have them you might go borrow them um, and the I'm gonna be using the pink and white probably uh, Teresa Collins ones. I need to get them out of the kitchen. Okay. Um, next is two punches. I will be using the Hobby Lobby 3-in-1 tag punch. And I am going to bring back my favorite um, scallop flower. Okay. Um, this is discontinued. You might be able to find it on eBay or something. Um, but it, I haven't used it in a long time. So it's time to bring that one back. Um really really excited you're going to get to use three stamp pads this time i'll be using black i'll be using peeled paint and meal so this um love this one. Oh yes that came with a with a magazine and then this time we will be using one stamp set so this is the stamp set i've chosen and you can see it has a lot of stamps on there that I'll be able to use in a lot of different ways. This is um, a stamp set that came with a magazine. And I get mine at Barnes & Nobles. But you can also order them directly from the companies. They come with uh, like these magazines. Creative Stamping. That one came with a farm set. Um, anyway, so watch that you can use a stamp set, okay? And then you can use one stencil. So this is the stencil I'm going to be using. That's why we added in two more colors of ink so that you could have a variation or an ombre on your, on your ink. So um, let's see, you probably... You're going to want to use a sponge or a distress tool. I'm going to be using something along these lines. Probably this one right here. Just because it's... I grabbed that one because it was here. You get to use white acrylic paint. And um, 
I did that because most people have acrylic paint. Now remember that if you're using it like to wash your, you know, whitewash your uh, book pages and things like that, that um, they, they sometimes will stick. So just be careful with that. But you get that and then you can use a paintbrush. Okay, so you get paint and a paintbrush. You can use a bigger paintbrush. This one was right here on my desk. This is not the one I'll be using, but it was right here. So let's see. Uh, two pens I've chosen. I know I'm going to use this pen, but you can use um, you can use colored pens. Yes, you can use one of those mechanical pens that has like four or 12 different colors on it. If that's what you want to use, you're welcome to it. It counts as one. Uh, one ruler. You can use one ruler. You can use one of the ones that where you can tear along the edge or draw. Um, it can be a metal ruler. It can be a six inch ruler. It can be, it can be a skit, you know, the, the big one, like I used to cut paper, wrapping paper, which I might actually, no, I, I've got my other wrapping paper. So, okay. Stapler and staples. So you can, one stapler, but as many staples as you need. I have gold staples in here. Then you have one binding kit, and your binding kit is going to consist of your string. Ta -da! However, whatever type of string that you like to use for binding. Um, so your thread, and then your needle or needles. Um, I'm going to say needles because I know sometimes um, I've broken needles binding my kit. I have. Have you done that? I have. Um, and then four clips. So you can have four different clips because the really cool thing is, is after you bind your journal, you can use those clips and make things for your journal using the binding clips. Then you can also... Um, have pokey tool I'm gonna be used so two pokey tools I guess I'm gonna be using this and then sometimes I end up needing the long one because it this one doesn't get in get through far enough so pokey tool four clips needles and thread that's your binding kit and then you can use all of those items um, for other things in your journal um, let's see so now let's go up into Oh, and then you also get to use six little things. And they can be eyelets, uh, the washer, or a washer, or washers, wire. I have my, I had my wire down here because, there we go, so that you could see it. So I will probably use like a few um, of these bulb pins, some wire, and I don't know what else. Okay. So that is pretty cool. And then um, one piece of broken or discarded jewelry. I have this here. It is, oh, it's macrame. <laughs> it's macrame. And then I just thought these beads were really cool. And this is something I will never wear. It was given to me um, by somebody that was discarding it. <laughs> They send everything to me, and then I have to decide whether it's really to be discarded or not. Okay, so now on to the items that you can use to make your journal. We're going to start off with, you may use one garment and one linen. Okay, so my garment here is, this is a um, skirt uh, the inside of a skirt, I can't find the outside, so I guess if I could have found it, it would have been together. It could have used it, but I can only find one. And then this linen, and it is stained, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put that as my, that is my garment and my linen. Garment and my linen. And let's see. Um... You may use book pages. You may use as many book pages from books, you know, where you've taken the back off and it's trash. You may use as many of those as you want. Okay? You don't have to use the cover and all the other stuff. But if you want to use, 
the like the outside pages, maybe some of the inside pages. You may use as many of those as you want. As journal makers, we probably have some of those. So this is an exciting thing I added, and this is going to help make this journal be something that you can actually use probably and um, be a little more proud of. I love my journal from last year, my happiness journal, but there wasn't a lot of, it, it was more like a place to look because um, it was just, there was no places to write or anything. And um, this journal, I want to use it for something. So, um, so we can use six assorted papers. They are ledger, lined, graph, or map. So um, you can use like an atlas map or you could use you could use a gigantic map like you would have in your car and that counts as one page. Yes, you can use that. Lined paper. This is um, a, co a composition book that I wrote my goals and stuff in and that stuff last year, but I didn't use all the pages. So I took it apart and there's one of the pages from it. So it would have been discarded. I kept my my goal stuff. I have um, ledger paper. I have this. It one of my friends gave me this gigantic ledger paper. Um, she was had a business, and so this is like what was left. Um, and it's big, and I think it's really cool. So I have that, and then um, graph paper. So for mine, I've got as uh, I'm going to use the ledger paper, the map. And then either, and then graph and lined paper for my others. Okay. So those are for my other six. So of course you can use any envelopes, any um, mail envelopes. And then because I don't know about you, but I know a lot of us accumulate a lot of envelopes. Like you could never use up every envelope that I have in my house. So you can use any envelopes, all the envelopes in the envelopes. It's a, it's a, it's a freebie. Okay. So a book, you get to use one book. I'm going to be using this bird book a little bit. <laughs> It's like torn apart, it's falling apart, and so I'm going to use the bird book. And then you get to use one magazine, and I have this Birds and Blooms magazine from what, 2000, oh this one's from 2018, I think the other one's from like 2015. <laughs> Pretty pictures. You can use one calendar, so I have a calendar about birds. So it has all those birds on it. Now I'll be taking out the peacock for the peacock um, kits. So um, I'll be taking out the flamingos, the hummingbirds, and the swans, and the owl. All, all those, will, and the eagle will probably go out. So I'll use the other ones maybe in my thing, but those other ones are all going to go for other things. Okay, then the other thing that you can use is one gift bag. Um, this was used once really fast, <laughs> and um, and I took the tag off of it because the tag had been used. So one gift bag or a grocery bag if you want to use a grocery bag or any kind of bag. Okay, so if you want to use a glassine bag, one. You get one. Wrapping paper. So you can use one thing of wrapping paper um, because now just it, you don't get to go buy something, but um, you can use one wrapping paper. Okay. And then I have my folder here. And these are other suggested things. So I just want to go over six assorted papers, ledger, lined, graph, or map only. Ledger, lined, graph, or map. One calendar, one magazine, one book, one garment, one linen, as many book pages as you want, as many envelopes as you want, wrapping paper, one bag, okay, 
Then we're gonna add, of course, packaging. So if you have packaging, like the cover of a paper pad, then any kind of packaging that you have. So if you have, well, any other packaging. I know I have packaging in here. I thought I did. Okay, so packaging. You you bought something at the store and they wrapped it in this paper. This is Dollar Tree wrapped this in this paper. So there you go. That's packaging. Um, of course, junk ju junk mail envelopes. Um, let's see. Uh, used file folders. So I have my stuff is in this file folder and. So you can use a used file folder. These are from, you know, the your name stamps. You can see the 11 on there. These are the stickers that come on some of those really cool address labels. Address labels, they're called. So if you have some of those, you can use those. Um, packaging. So the cover... The packaging that came in with your calendar if you would want uh, privacy envelopes the extra photo album after you filled the photo album and there's no more room and you still have inserts left um, used envelopes and used cards or damage this one has water damage and so it's not usable. I would throw it away, but I'm going to use it here. This was mail. Okay, so there's some mail. Um, these, somebody saved cards and gave me the, the, uh, the to from part is not there, but a bunch of different cards. So those work. Um, your mini calendar. Do you have one of those, especially if it's from, you know, where they gave, send it to you for free? The little, um, these would have gone in, like, photo boxes. There's a bunch of envelopes. Rolodex. These were sample things from when I sold Jamboree. They're trash. Postage stamps. A floral envelope. It came with like a valentine in it or something. A CD envelope. No paper. From the, the hotel. <laughs> uh, pattern paper. Used pattern paper. You see that? This was actually a pattern that was used. Okay, so the this is paper that is in between acetate. So it's there to protect the acetate. It's extra. Um, garment tags. Okie dokie. Okay, so you, you had a guest book and you had extra guest book pages. Um, there's, okay, so these are from my mom's stuff, and um, so they, I can either like use the other side or cut these and use the lines. Um, I'm not sure, but there's that. There's some more map pages in there. Okay, now let's get over here in the box. Church envelopes. Because, you know, if you didn't use them, you're probably throwing them away. <laughs> um, let's see. have more of the... Oh, um, wallpaper border. Wallpaper border or wallpaper. A wallpaper sample book. Oh, here's the packaging I was talking about. So, packaging. 
Okay, so there you go. Lots of ideas of things that you can use. Um, cereal boxes. Uh, my second journal will be made with a brownie, brown, two brownie boxes. Um, let's see. But again, you get to use all those things to make something really, really nice and pretty and challenging and fun. So your deadline is going to be July 31st. This is the details video. So you're gonna want to go down in the description box, go to the Facebook group, um, January Just Junk Journal Challenge 2, and, um, and then follow the directions there. When you finish your journal and you make it, you'll wanna make sure that you put it in the post that says, post your finished journal here, okay? Post your finished journal video here. Post your um, finished photo album here. That's how I find you to make sure that you get your invitation to the, um, the after party. So everyone that finishes their journal and publishes it in the group on time and on their social media will get invited to a party. And inside the party is a digital kit. And... Then we'll set a date for the party and we party and make stuff using the digital kit and give away prizes and it's lots of fun. And um, again, this time we're using just junk, these tools, those items so that we can make a beautiful journal that we can use. And our deadline is January 31st. 2020 2020 can't believe it so again i want to wish you a happy new year which was your favorite rose parade float put that in the comments down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you love this video go watch another video because <laughs> youtube likes that and um thanks for being here have an amazing day talk to you soon See you in the Facebook group. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.